10 myths about introverts. What's the first thing you think of when you hear the word introvert? Do you think of a librarian, a writer, or the person constantly doing everything behind the scenes? What if I told you that introverts have also been some of our world's greatest social activists, CEOs, and musicians? There are a lot of common public misconceptions formed about introverts based on our culture's superficial portrayal of them. Here are 10 myths about introverts that have been debunked. 1. Introverts don't like to talk. This is complete bogus. Introverts do like to talk, but it has to be meaningful. Otherwise, exchanging words seem pointless. They don't see the point in small talk and do not find it worth their time to engage in gossip or ongoing superficial conversations with content that lacks depth and have no direction. They are perfectly content to be silent rather than take part in dead-end conversations. 2. All introverts are shy. Shyness and introversion are two different things. Shyness is the sort of painful feeling you experience when you're afraid of being socially rejected. Introversion is the tendency to focus more on internal thoughts rather than the external world. It's important to note that introversion can exist without shyness, although shyness can make you focus on being in your head. Although there are introverts that are shy, there are also ones who aren't. This also applies to extroverts too, as some can be shy at first before getting to know others better. 3. Introverts don't like to go out. False. Introverts do like to go out. It's just that they like staying out for a certain period of time before they have to head home to recharge. Why? Because introverts take in information very quickly. It can be overwhelming for them if they have to do it for long periods of time. Concerts, amusement parks, and festivals are examples of activities that introverts like in moderation. Constantly being exposed to an overstimulating environment can be too much as it takes a lot out of them. Number 4. Introverts don't like people. This is incredibly judgmental. Introverts don't hate the human race, although sometimes they do have those days. Susan Cain, an introvert and author of the book Quiet, writes, Love is necessary. Gregariousness is optional. Introverts value their few close loved ones. They care more about the quality of the relationships they have rather than the quantity of people in their lives. 5. Introverts can't become leaders. Yes, studies have shown that there are more extroverted leaders than introverted. That's not to say there aren't any introverted leaders or that extroverts make better ones. Even though extroverts are naturally more assertive and enthusiastic, making them more attractive to their followers, introverts are more inclined to really listen to their followers' ideas and suggestions, rather than pushing their own beliefs onto them. This is a win-win situation for everyone, because more trust is built when introverts listen to people's problems and allow others to speak their mind. Who doesn't want to be heard and advised on the best option based on that? Number 6. Introverts are poor at networking. Extroverts may have larger networks, but knowing more people doesn't necessarily mean more opportunities for jobs. Strong networking is more about the impression you make on the people around you and the connections you make with them. Since introverts value and understand that space is important, they aren't overwhelming to work with because they don't impose their ideas on anyone. This shows others that they can be dependent on all while keeping the drama low in professional settings. 7. Introverts don't know how to have fun. This isn't true. Fun is, after all, super subjective. Just because introverts aren't out partying all the time doesn't mean they don't replace that option with activities that are more fulfilling and relaxing to them. Dopamine, the neurotransmitter that is associated with excitement and sensation-seeking, is one that introverts' brains are sensitive towards. Just because introverts are wired differently than extroverts does not mean they are deprived of new experiences altogether. 8. All introverts dislike public speaking. It's often assumed that introverts are in the limelight when it comes to live performances and public speaking. And while there is usually more anxiety associated with getting up and talking in front of a large group of people for introverts, that's not to say that introverts don't take part in public speaking. It might take more time for introverts to desensitize themselves to it if they aren't comfortable with it. But if their passions encourage them to step up to the plate and deliver speeches about what matters most to them, amazing things can happen. After all, practice makes perfect. 9. Introverts make poor salespeople. People often think that salespeople are outgoing, bubbly, and assertive extroverts. But, introverts make excellent salespeople because they take a more sincere approach and listen to what customers look for instead of being forceful and demanding that customers buy their products. 
This can help customers feel like they're on the same page as introverted salespeople rather than feeling attacked and overwhelmed by someone who's only concerned with dominating their next move. People feel better when they are given a choice over being pressured to make a choice that might not even benefit them. Introvert salespeople thus powerfully help foster the idea that we're in control of our own destiny and happiness. Who would have thought? 10. Introverts can become extroverts with enough practice. This one tends to be the public's favorite. It's actually heartbreaking, wrong, and downright insulting. Without introverts, we wouldn't have some of the most amazing art, films, literature, scientific breakthroughs, and inventions that we have today. Introverts are essential, so instead of trying to fix introverts like they're broken, let them be. They are vital to the human race. Are you an introvert? Do you agree? Leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching Psych2Go. Don't forget to subscribe!